Hello, ladies and gentlemen, on road user again. Just uh, been in uh, Tesco, um, dressed as you see me now with my GoPro strapped to my head, and I have just been threatened with being barred from the store unless I remove the GoPro and the headband from my head even though the GoPro is not recording I repeat not recording at the time I was still threatened that if I did not remove the head strap and the camera from my head forthwith I would no longer be welcome in Tesco because apparently they have received complaints from customers. Can you believe the paranoia ladies and gentlemen of some people? Just because, I mean, if, if this guy is to believe, be believed in what he was saying, um, people see somebody walking around with a GoPro strapped to their head even though it's not recording and they go <coughs> camera paranoia because what if what if I wasn't in the minority right supposing 95% of the population walked around with GoPros strapped to their heads right would Tesco approach them and say if you don't remove that you're going to be barred from the store. I very much doubt it because if everybody who uh, they threatened to bar from the store um, decided to stop shopping there and 95% of the population were wearing GoPros on their heads suddenly Tesco wouldn't have any bloody customers would they? But because I'm in the minority it's um, it's okay for them to do that. I really don't understand it. And I wonder, I just wonder, what they say, say for example, um, a police officer wearing a body cam goes into Tesco. Do they approach him or her and threaten to bar them from the store because they're wearing a body camera? Even though, like mine, it might not be recording anything. Would they approach the police officer and say, you'll have to remove that uh, body camera because, you know, it's, it's still a camera, isn't it? When all's said and done, camera's a camera. No matter whether the police are wearing it or non-road user or indeed anybody else is wearing it. If I'd, if I'd have gone in there and the red light on the GoPro had been flashing, indicating that it was recording, and the little display on the front was on, again indicating that it was recording, then I would have no issue with them approaching me. Uh, in fact, I, I wouldn't even do it. I wouldn't even go into the uh, shopping centre or indeed Tesco. I don't, I don't go into any shop. Um, with the GoPro recording, might be on my head, but it's not recording, right? And when I'm out in a public place, that's a different story. If I if I choose to turn it on, it's not recording at the moment, by the way. But uh, seeing as I'm in a public place, if I wanted to, I could uh, I could press the button. In fact, I'm going to do it now. There you go. Bleep 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 and it is now recording um, so there you go anyway um, I'm going to close this now and scout off back home because uh, I've, I've, got, uh, I've got a major update for you on uh, bus pass gate so uh, I've, I've just got back from uh, Labour Lefty Lone House uh, in uh, Middlesbrough Town Centre it's not a city, I like Mayor Dave Bud keeps telling us. 
so uh, major update on that one for you guys and gals and uh, so I'm going to uh, scout back home now and uh, upload this video then I'm going to start work on the um, bus pass gate part 3 video and uh, I'll catch you all later so thanks for watching take care don't forget to subscribe click the like button click the dislike button and all the usual stuff uh, bye for now